First, we'll need to open the mod tools. Select Player Logo Editor. Now we'll need to open the logo file. This is located in the Media Scripts folder. We will now need to convert our logo into a DDS file. Select your image by clicking File and an Image. When you're ready to convert, hit Save As. An Options window will appear. Unselect the first two options. We will now need to select the folder which contains the logo. Name your logo, and select the logo from the logo file dropdown. Hit add logo when you are finished. Your logo should now appear on the list. If it does, hit save logo file. Save it in the location that you will use later with the mod tool. In order to distribute artwork, we must contain it in a zip file. Any artwork distributed with a mod needs to be contained in a zip file. Locate your files and then compress them into a zip file. If you need help doing this, check the description below on how to zip files. Return back to the Mod Tools, and then select the Mod Data tool. Name your mod. Check the checkbox by Miscellaneous Artwork, and by Player Legos. Click the triple dot button beside Miscellaneous Artwork and then navigate to the folder which contains your artwork zip file. Select the artwork zip file. Next, select the triple dot button beside the player logo. Navigate to the folder which contains the XML file you saved with the player logo editor. Finally, hit export mod. Go to the media mods folder of Gear City and hit open. Your mod has been saved. We will now need to tell the game which mod to use. Open the Video Settings Editor in Steam. Select the Modifications tab. Choose your modification from the drop-down list, and then hit Save. Finally, we need to test the mod in the game. Open up Steam and start the game. Open up a new save game. And select your logo from the list. Congratulations, you have inserted your logo into the game. You may also distribute your mod files to anyone who wishes to use them.